a former Calgary lacrosse coach serving a five-year sentence for inappropriate relationships with a teenager has been allowed day parole a little more than a year after being put in jail. In September 2016, Kelly Ross Fieser was found guilty of two counts of sexual interference. He was sentenced that October. Read more, former Calgary coach gets five years prison for sexual relationship with young girl. The court heard he sexually assaulted a girl he knew in his neighborhood more than a decade earlier. The assaults began as massages which led to intercourse, the Parole Board of Canada said in documents obtained by Global News. Your victim reported that this occurred several times a week over the course of four years. Read more, woman testifies against ex-Calgary lacrosse coach charged with sexual assault. Fieser initially denied the allegations, stating he knew the victim and that she was a troubled kid in the neighborhood. He later admitted the crimes to family. It is reported that you stated that you believe you committed the offenses because you were lonely, depressed and were flattered by the attention your victim was giving you. Following a hearing in November, the board approved Fieser for day parole starting December. 6. You spoke of your relationship with your family and how it is more open than it has ever been in the past, the board said. You were openly emotional in speaking to the effect your choices have had on your son and other members of your family. The board said Fieser, 49, was terrified shamed and moved into self-preservation when he was first arrested. You explained you got caught in a lie and did not know how to get out of this cycle, the decision read. You said you hoped for a miracle, that your offending would not have been found out. You now realize the miracle you were hoping for would have been the wrong thing to have happened, since it would have harmed your victim even more. The board also heard Fieser didn't have an easy time while incarcerated, as he was assaulted. You stated that you do not consider yourself a victim, but that you see the way you have been treated as a result of actions you have taken, the board said. You spoke of your acceptance of the abuse you have endured in the institution as an understandable outcome of your offending. Fieser also spoke of the victim while reading a prepared statement. You pray for your victim to find a way to heal from the abuse she suffered at your hand, the board continued. The panel also granted full parole to Fieser when he becomes eligible on June 6, 2018.